I signed up to the Judo Fanatics Best of uh, Ono. Is there something that stands out to you about him that especially you find beautiful like or powerful about his technique? Um, his adaptability to the situations and understanding of like what needs to happen in order to throw these people. Mm. I specifically watched a match with his and I was going to do a breakdown video on it because... Is there a match? Do you remember what it is? It's him versus uh, Ungarvi of Hungary. Um, is he good at gripping? So we're watching the match against Hungary. Uh, so at the one minute, come, so right here, coming up. I've heard he's freakishly strong. I've never had the ability to, to train with him, so I'm not... Obviously he looks super skinny. <laughs> But, but when you see him without his gi jacket on, like he's a, he's a jack dude, which is uncharacteristic of a Japanese player from back in the day. In a way, changed all that. He was like, we're going to get physical to compete with the Europeans. That's another one of the greats, right? In yeah. He doesn't get mentioned enough. And he's a righty here. Yeah. Okay. And this is where he starts setting it up. It's like you can see he was standing in like a left-handed stance and then he changes. <laughs> yeah. So he, he grips almost like a double uh, a double sleeve, not a double he sleeve, but the like tricep. the tricep. And the the front sleeve standing like a lefty. And no body grip, just correct. tricep and sleeve. And it was like the the biggest whip and twist of a, of a Nuchimata. Yeah, he doesn't actually seen. lift him off the floor. Yeah. And if you look at it in like slow motion almost. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, there we go. Um, the Hungarian player was like 100% defense and he still did this, right? So right here, like press pause. This, this is like an identifier if you're trying to like learn judo and figure out how to set it up mm -hmm. because knowing how to get to the point right before you pull the trigger is probably the most important. So when we watch this play out, what Ono's gonna do is he's gonna pivot off his right leg right here. He's gonna back step with his left and it's gonna pull Ungarvi's front leg all the way forward into what we would call like a neutral square stance. Mm -hmm. So he plants hard and look oh, at Ono. there's an interesting pull with the tri, oh no, it's not tri, so he almost like, it, he just, it starts with the tricep and he like collects the gear or something like that. But it's still above the elbow because you can see the yeah. bend, right? And right here, see how he never put, back it up a little bit. The, this is kind of like one of those things, yeah, pause it right there. So when he puts his right foot down, he's pulling so hard with his back mm -hmm. that when Ono goes to put his left foot down, it never touches the mat. Mm -hmm. But by putting his left foot back, it actually pulls him Garvey's foot forward. And so he's able to speed up his throw by just continuing that motion back. Yeah. Which what was supposed to have been a step turned out to just in the middle of the action, he makes a split second decision before putting the foot down to just continue. Yeah. Cause he recognizes that feel in his hands. Yeah. And so it's like, it never, it's a swing. Like he never touches the ground. But it never, it never started as like a big swing to yeah. a back step. Yeah. He changed his mind part way through. So it's right supposed there, to be a back step, right? Step. Yeah. And then he goes, nope, he's bringing that foot forward. I'm just going to go for it. And the, wait, is he full, like full air? Look at that. Boom, boom. And look at, if you go a few more steps forward right there, his hip is the same height as Ungarvi's shoulder. Yeah. That's because crazy. he's leaning so far into the throw with his body weight mm -hmm. and he's allowing that tricep grip to rotate. That's gonna draw Ungarvi forward. And now when you pause it right here, you think about the sheer physics to like get your body into this position. Jimmy and I were so like, when we saw this for the first time, we tried to just stand like that and we couldn't do it. His left foot is pointing straight ahead. His chest is perpendicular to that foot or parallel with mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. And his head is by his foot. Yeah. Is that only possible in the midst of a throw? Do you think he works on making like- I think he's done this particular throw, not this style of it, but Uchimata so much yeah. that his body has adapted to be able to do this. So when people are trying to learn and like break down videos, yeah. they don't understand like the power he has 
and what we call end range motion. Yeah, look you, at that. So like, look at the full range of motion he takes, right? Yeah. That left foot swings all the way around and the torso starts like at three o'clock and it goes all the way around, like almost back to the three o'clock. Yeah. Like, like look at like that, what it- And he never lifts his leg above his hip. And the crazy part is he never fell over during any of it. Yeah, look at that. Stayed on his feet. What's he doing? Is that is that a matter of pride or just? I think that's just habit. The way the forces work, like he can just stay up. I. That's one of the most beautiful throws I've ever seen. There's so much wrong with wow. it, but it worked. It worked because when you think about, remember what we talked about at the very beginning, like he's got to get his center of gravity under his. Wow. Well, here's one of the top players in the world throwing another top player in the world with his hip at that guy's shoulder height and it's still working. It's. Okay, so he, <laughs> this generation, he could be the great. Yeah. And like he switched a lot of those details of the throw in the middle. In the middle. And that that only is, that means he's probably what, like a hundred thousand times that throw has happened. Yeah. 